they sit up and intervene right away instead of just watching and getting hit. Calls for an inquest into fatal incidents at a Winnipeg shelter are continuing to grow as family members of a 59-year-old man who was attacked outside the shelter and would later die in hospital say numerous questions around their loved one's tragic end remain. Um, there's a lot of um, anger. <laughs> The December 9th attack resulting in the death of Floyd Flett happened on the steps of Nadina Mayowak and video obtained by City News shows a member of the Sabe Peace Walkers, one of the six partners who provide services at the shelter, failed to intervene in the attack. Flett was struck in the head several times and he'd later die in hospital as a result of his injuries. Now his sister, McLean Flett, wants an inquest to take place to ensure both staff at the shelter are properly trained and the proper resources are in place, like security and on-site paramedics, saying her brother is being remembered as a man who would do whatever he could to help. Whatever he has in his pocket, he'll help you as much as, as he can. The attack on Flett is one of three incidents caught on camera shared with City News where Sabe Peace Walkers exhibited problematic behavior to people in vulnerable positions. And Flett's death is one of two fatal incidents City News has learned of where shelter staff may have been a factor. As in 2022, right. Cheryl Whitford was discovered dead at the facility after going unchecked for several hours. This despite the fact that body and breathing checks were supposed to happen every 15 to 30 minutes. Her family have said publicly they like to see an inquest held examining the death and now Flett's sister is echoing the call saying her brother's death which she feels could have been prevented left her devastated and it's hard like every day for not seeing him and then always asking myself um, why they bothered my brother the incidents outlined above are under review, and while Shelter Board Chair Victoria Fisher said previously she cannot comment on specifics, a statement explains safety of both staff and clients is a primary concern for the facility. She said in a statement that the board has started quote, a restructuring of the service delivery model and will continue with the restructuring of the governance and management of the operations of the shelter operations, taking into consideration any findings from this review, all of which were being done with the relatives well being considered first and foremost, end quote. Numerous questions sent to Minister of Housing, Addictions and Homelessness Bernadette Smith went unanswered Thursday and an interview request was denied. As for Flett, she feels an inquest into her brother's attack and following death must be called to make sure other people in vulnerable positions at the shelter are protected and not put in danger when they try to access supports. Because that place, they need um, a lot of help. In Winnipeg, Morgan Majeski, City News.